All right, this is Brandon. We're back at Kentex. Uh, I told you I'd do another part of the video, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, we'll start at the front of the Jeep, uh, which there's a lot of stuff. So let's let's let's. I, oh, there's Dana. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you got Terraflex bumper, all right? Uh, I thinned up the Terraflex bumper. This is the Elite bumper. I cut the bottom of it off basically, and then we put another lip in the inside of there. Uh, we also put the gussets on here, uh, and and, uh, and we did our own uh, bar on here. Now, uh, Terraflex did sell me it separately, so um, we just did a little bit of cutting to make it a little bit differently. Um, so that's what you see in there. Uh, we also put some uh, Terraflex. Uh, it's like a thing behind there, basically, with red reflective uh, 3M tape back there. It looks real nice. You got the warm winch fair lead. You got the Factor 55 uh, 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 plug there. And then you have, uh, I think there's Smitty Belt rings and some Daystar inserts. You have the warm 10,000 uh, pound synthetic winch. Um, we have some uh, blacked out, smoked out, uh, this is just plastic dip on the regular uh, lenses, the truck light lenses, the rugged ridge inserts. Uh, this is custom wrapping by uh, my friend here uh, at Moto SDK, he's kind of a sponsor of mine, he's really, really good at what he does. Let's see here. We can't get his work in the States, so, uh, you know, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, custom wrapping grill, insert, I mean, you can tell he's just beautifully done, second to none. Very, very nice. Okay, um, then you also, I also have LEDs in the inside here. Uh, Jeep obviously blacked out. Uh, no biggie, you can buy all that stuff. Uh, you got the custom axle LED, uh, oh, custom axle truck here. Oh, some uh, functional LEDs and this, that, and the other thing. Made to look like the Jeep. Poison Spider hood liver, you got a 20 inch uh, uh, bar up there. Um, some covers over with some custom logoing. Same thing up here, 50 inch. Some custom logoing. You got cubes on each side. Uh, they're all flashing. That's the S-Pod SE that's running those right now. Rock Hard 4x4 cage, you can see it running in there. Um, you got Vector Off-Road uh, hood UFOs. Uh, these are the Rugged Ridge um, uh, hood latches, really nice. This is the Bushwhacker hood protector, really nice. Really, really clean. That's the super, super clean. You can see it on the video I did on that. It looks really, really nice. Um, Bushwhacker fender flares. You got the AEV snorkel on there. You got Toyo Open Country MTs. These are size 37s, okay? 37, uh, 13 and a half. Um, uh, by 17s, that's what you're going to be looking at here. Okay, custom wrapping on the inside of those. Those are LRG 105 wheels, 17, really, really nice wheels. You got the DV8 inner fenders, really, really nice. Um, you got the Fox, uh, the DC adjustable or CD adjustable uh, reservoirs, the action reservoirs. You got uh, your Terraflex uh, speed bumps in there, the front. You see them in there, pretty nice. Uh, you got a Curry anti rock up here, some custom lettering done by me uh, to make the red pop. Um, and uh, obviously their sway bar uh, link there. Um, you got an R-Tuck truss down there. You have a Synergy uh, drag link, Synergy a tie rod. You got the Fox ATS steering stabilizer under there. You got some Rebel Off-Road gussets on the side. Uh, some Poly Performance, I think a Poly Performance. Um, axle seals on there. Synergy ball joints are on there. Um, just a really, really nice setup uh, under there. Uh, those are Oracle LED wheel lights, uh, hub lights. That, that's what you're seeing there. They're so sexy and so smooth. Uh, probably one of my favorite out of everything. Uh, it has to do with LEDs I have on the Jeep. Um, custom wrapping all the way down the side by Moto SDK. This is Terraflex. Beautiful. It's a three layer actually. You got the original vinyl wrap. And then you have a gloss wrap under that. Or gloss uh, logoing. And then you have a very 3M brushed aluminum. Can you see that? I know you can see those sparkles. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. Oh, look at that, dude. That's a 3M brush design. Okay. Three layers on there. It's really, really nice looking. Um, and these are the uh, Drake off-road uh, uh, inserts on the handles here, which is really, really nice. Really cool. Um, this Poison Spider rocker, uh, rocker, rocker rails or rock, uh, rock brawlers, brawler rockers. Excuse me, the aluminum version. Um, it's got that boat side effect on it, so you got a step side and everything. We did some 3M. Uh, we did. I'm not 3M. We did some grip tape wrapping on here, around off the edges, make it look really clean, really professional looking. Uh, these things are pretty sharp when you get them poison spider. You can sand them down or whatever you need to. We sand them down and we put a, a little protection piece of rubber on there, like a little liner. Uh, that's what we did. Uh, obviously, bushwhackers on the reel. You got the DV8 rear fenders as well, uh, inner fenders, uh, some red reflective uh, 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 logoing behind there. Obviously, your LRGs back here, same thing. Okay, keep going. Uh, right here we have a new product. This is coming from Badger Off Road. These guys are out of uh, South Korea. Actually, a couple of friends of mine. Um, you see it reflecting right off the bat. You notice there's something different. Okay, that's not an LED rope or anything. That's actually reflective material on the sides. Because uh, they had a good point. When you look from the side of the Jeep, you really don't see anything from the side. And uh, they did that uh, for for that purpose. 
um, and they got the Velcro lining and stuff like that. You can do all kinds of attachments or whatever. They got their logo down there. Very cool, so 3D embroidery. Very nice quality. The bag is awesome. The zippers are hardcore. I mean, you can tell they got the fatter, uh, fatter plastic zippers, uh, which are really nice. They got some extra pouches on the side. Got another outstretch pouch here on the side as well, a little zipper pouch, which is really cool. It's automatically detachable. You can attach it right out, it's got a handle made for that. So if you're going overnight or whatever, you need to kind of get out, take the Jeep somewhere, you got some valuables, whatever, you put them in there and carry on. Uh, we got the ABR, a ARB a plug kit in here. We got, uh, I think it's a Smitty Build or a Rugged Ridge or something. Uh, somebody makes this strap here, and we got a first aid kit in there, a little mallet hammer I had Haley in our Jeep. <laughs> throw, throw it in for effects. Um, obviously, we got some S Pod in there, powered by S Pod. Uh, looking at the <laughs> and uh, then we got down here. We got a Fox, uh, the Fox. Uh, again, the Fox rear shocks. You got the speed bump. Uh, uh, you got Terraflex speed bump back here in the rear as well. That's a Moto Cloak adjustable drag link um, back there. We got some uh, Any Shop armor. That's a Korean company. That's a uh, Diff armor down there. Any Shop. Uh, this is a uh, muffler armor, but I took the muffler out obviously, and I have a, a Via Air tank down there. Um, he's got cubes back here. These are Rugged Ridge cubes. This is the XHD uh, Rugged Ridge aluminum bumper. Um, some Black Widow rear custom light LED lights, fishing poles. This is the uh, this is the accessory mount, which is awesome by Dominion Off Road or Jeep Swag. Um, Brett Woods uh, has a patent on this thing, and it's absolutely awesome. I absolutely love it. Fishing poles. I put fishing poles on all the time. But it's made for axes and shovels and things of that nature to hang right off the hijack lift. What's impressive about it is it actually sits inside the channel. See right here? And that stops it from moving around a lot. Uh, it's really, really cool. Fire stick antenna. Um, you got rotor packs. Obviously, you got water. You got your first aid preparedness. And you got the diesel back there. Uh, this is a diesel. It's CRD diesel if you're keeping up with my stuff. And so I have diesel and I have a hardware stuff back there, which is really cool. Uh, you circle back around to the back of the Jeep here. Um, you got more stuff, okay? Uh, you got, uh, this is a Rebel Off-Road's uh, uh, tailgater, trailgater um, table, flips down, bamboo uh, thing here. Also, what I love about this one, and if you see my other videos, you don't have, it, 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 there's no holes in it. A lot of tables have holes in them. I really don't prefer those. I, they leave, they do the bolt forever. And um, they have uh, wings on them too, so they don't, nothing slides off the side. And then, uh, obviously, Off-Road Adventure, HMF fabrication stuff. Uh, it's maybe beaver tail. There's another shot of the X XHD aluminum uh, rear bumper. Um, that's the Vi Air, uh, I think it's the 450C tank in the rear back here. Got some hosing. Uh, this is Dirty Dog's uh, red netting. This is spider netting. Okay, another shot of the LED tail lights there. Um, little chrome tip exhaust thing there. Wrap around here, fire extinguisher. Trek armor fire extinguisher uh, holder. Uh, spider webs. This is the spider webs on the side of the Dirty Dog netting, which is really cool. Uh, you got uh, Trek Armor handles, you got Trek Armor seat covers, Trek Armor rear seat covers, uh, a lot of Trek Armor stuff, I love that stuff. Audio Vox, uh, iPad holders, uh, Samsung holder, whatever you want to call it. Talkies back there, we got a, a Gerber uh, or a Bear Grylls uh, machete back there. This is a version of the tube door that's exactly, almost identical to the best top uh, the Korean makes. I like that they have a little Jeep symbol back here, looks kind of nice. And that's the OXK right there. Just throw a sticker in there, looks kind of cool. Looks real nice. Um, got some TV. Uh, T views, uh, the nine inch headrest in the back there. Also, the Trek Armor uh, grab handles in the back there. Uh, this is a Rock Hard 4x4. Four four, uh, rock Hard 4x4. Four four. This is their rear um, a roll cage. Goes in the rear. Now, we look in the front here. Voila, you have the front one. Same thing. Channels off here and it goes in, and splits up and kind of rolls on this piece here. It's really, really cool. Scrolls down. Now, I did a custom uh, mounting for the handles here. Obviously, you can tell. The OSK stickers on there. It's just little detail stuff I love. Um, you got the SP, S Pod SE in here, kind of hanging around. S Pod, that's the second gen right there with the air gauge. Um, you have the custom over the river and through the woods rockers there. The second gen has the lights on the bottom and on the top, so when you turn it on, uh, it's my CB radio. It's a Bearcrat United 880. Uh, Terraflex says the trail scale kind of tells you give you flipping uh, issues, you know, your your uh, your gradients and your, and, and your, your leaning, uh, uh, what would you say? Uh, degrees make sure you're not going to flip some garment stuff this is the accessory mount by rock hard got all kind of little ram mount, uh, ram mount balls that hang off the side and everything like that they're really cool i love them um just a little more custom stuff in there this is the trek armor seat covers second and none love them um it's kind of going in there motion sensor down there the viper alarm is a viper alarm with remote start in here 
is really cool. We got a no fat chick sticker in here. I still don't discriminate. Love, 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 love any girls. HMF fabrication, uh, 50 inch um, mount lights here, which are really, really nice. Love those things. Uh, Jordan Willis over at HMF fabrication does excellent work. This is the best top tube doors, the element doors, uh, really, really nice doors because they're buildable. Lego, you know, you got steel enclosures, you got the satchels that go with them, you got the top pieces that go with them. They're just completely buildable. They're a really, really nice door. Um, then I got a lot of horsepower over here on the side. <laughs> Make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. I have Terraflex over here, Synergy, uh, Over the River, Bushwhacker, Artec, uh, S Pod, uh, Moto SDK, Terraflex. We love all the guys. Um, we'll circle back around here, see what else we got. What's I was missing? I know I'm missing something. Oh, what about a Terraflex long inch forearm uh, elite kit there? And you can see I still have the, the stock drive shaft right there. But what is this? Dun, 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 dun. Adam's drive shaft. They're going tomorrow. Um, custom made by James and Kevin over at, uh, at uh, Adam's drive shaft and off road. Terraflex long arm kit. Got some skids down there. Keep you uh, keep you wheeling. I also had an Artec rear truss. I didn't show you guys that. Let's go take a look at that real quick. You look under there, it's an Artec rear truss as well. Very cool. Very beautiful. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think that is about it, guys. Sorry, I was sidetracked. The model's table's right next to my Jeep, so we get a lot of traffic over here. Anyways, I want to thank you guys all for looking, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for checking all the stuff I have. Sorry the video lasted forever. Let me know if you got any questions. What we can look at, what we can take a look at, what I can add, what I can take away. Oh, gear shape. Gear shape top, he prints on top and bottom. William O'Hare, uh, William O'Hare out, out of Florida. He um, he prints on top and bottom of this thing. Uh, it's pretty sweet. You can see the inside here, he's printed on. And then, when you actually get on the inside of the Jeep. Sorry for the shake of video. You got the custom top. Very cool. Gear shape. I think that's about it guys. Sorry, long video. We'll do some specific uh, specific reviews of items a little bit later. Brandon out.